A major way to having a better outlook on life is by changing your words. When you say you have to do something, it implies a burden and something unpleasant. I have to go to work. I have to go to school. I have to rub my aunt's bunions. <sighs> I think we all can agree school can be unpleasant. Let me show you a real life example. I woke up this morning with the mentality of, I have to make this video today. I realized by saying have to, it was like a burden, something that was restricting my freedom. Because I have to make this video, now I can't go hang gliding. I can't get a tattoo. I can't work on my rap album. The restrictions are endless because of this have to. In all honesty, I don't see myself doing any of these things today, but I don't like the idea of not being able to do them because I have to do something else. What if instead I said I get to make this video? Get to implies a privilege, something you're grateful for. I took a moment and realized I'm grateful that you're watching this, and you watching this is something I take for granted. Going from have to to get to definitely changed my outlook on this task. But then I started to feel bad. If I truly get to do this, why do I struggle to have the motivation to actually make these videos? Ideally, it would be great to say you get to do everything, but don't feel bad if it's not something you could say and believe every time. Not everything you'll do in life will be pleasant, but during those unpleasant times, the more realistic and happy medium is saying you choose to. When you say you choose to do something, it means you've considered your options and the decision you've made is going to give you some type of positive return in the present or future. The phrasing that helped me make this video was saying, I choose to. Once I realized I was choosing to make this video, I started to focus on all the positive reasons I was making it. Here are some reasons that came to mind. This video could help someone have a better outlook. This video could help me get practice with this new animation software I got recently. And this video could help give someone a throaty chuckle like this. <laughs> I feel like a dork that I scripted that out and went ahead and went with it, but moving on. Whatever it is that is going on in your life right now, how will you look at it? Strive to say and believe you get to do everything in life. But if you're like me and struggle at times to see everything as a grateful blessing, at the very least, say you choose to. The simple yet powerful point of this video is your words direct your focus. When you say you have to do something, your mind goes to all the other things this thing is causing you to miss out on. When you choose to do something, your mind has a way of focusing on all the benefits of your choice, even if it benefits someone else. In this scenario, say you're choosing to rub your aunt's bunions. You love your aunt and you don't want her to be in pain. Plus, you've noticed your outlook on life is better when you look out for other people. And you look out for other people by changing your outlook using better word choices and trying to contribute to their lives in a unique way that you can. If you're new to this channel and want more unique contributions to your life like this video, consider subscribing. Thank you for choosing to watch this video and I can't wait to see you in the next one.